Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Dazzled by Paper. I made this chamber during one of my Puzzle Maker streams, where I make puzzles live and ask for feedback and ideas from chat. We'll link the aforementioned stream in this post when I can. Special thanks to the following for ideas present in this chamber in no particular order. Nui Harim, Team Spin 2 Demon Arisen, Hank... You could be designer, Hanky Miller, Dr. A, and a few others that I might have forgotten. Basically those who came out on stream and pitched ideas. Additional thanks to Demon Risen again for the name. Alright, our three dashes edit to favorites. Let's get started and see what we're in for. I quite enjoy trapeze, so I think paper's getting quite good at making maps. We shall see. Return path, okay. And this is our exit condition to have a funnel and a cube. Basically, a forward funnel, a blue funnel, and a cube, specifically. What did that do? Square. Well, I don't actually know where square is, so I guess we should go find it, right? But it's certainly somewhere. We can start off by getting that. Look at that. Circle. Circle. Circular holes. This is what makes the funnel go forward, so we're gonna need a second cube for sure. Here's our second cube. And this ant line goes... That's worrying. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do believe that is quite concerning. There's no easy way to- no easy way to bootstrap that cube, unfortunately. Where does that other ant line go? That other ant line goes all the way... ...to that? It turns off the death girl? That's scary, why would we want to turn off the death girl? Okay then. And there's another death grill we're gonna want to turn off apparently. Oh dear. That's uh quite frightening actually. Well, I suppose we should start by doing this maybe. I don't actually know. I don't actually know. I mean, we can't put it anywhere else really. Nothing turns off that fizzler. Whoa! What is it about Paper's maps that makes my game lag like this? What is happening right now? Oh my gosh, I don't... Hold on a sec. What in the world are you doing to me right now, Windows? Where is all my CPU usage going? Alright, well I don't know what that is, but it seems to have stopped. I hope. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's... that's really frustrating. Right, well anyway, we need to go up here, and, uh, oh, there's a nice little platform up here. I was just about to ask, what are we gonna do? But, uh, yeah. We do that, and, uh, I guess we'll just put the cube on the portal surface, because why not? Then we do this, and then we do that. Uh, that's kind of tilted, but, sure. Oh, but I can't actually respawn the cube. Well, I can spawn this one into there, so that's at least something I can do. I think it's what I wanted to do originally, but I just forgot. There we go. What the? Excuse me, game! I do not believe that that is how physics works. What? You guys saw that too, right? That gave me a weird vertical boost? Hold on a sec here. What exactly just happened? It didn't happen again, but I felt like it went up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. That was bizarre. Funnels, especially reverse funnels, something about them is just uniquely unusual in the game's code. Alright, let's go ahead and bootstrap this cube. That sounds like a plan to me. Don't actually know if we want it to be bootstrapped, but sure, that's what we'll go with for now. Right, cube has been bootstrapped. Let's see what we can do from here. Right, so, we have a forward funnel, and we have a death girl that's turned off. I think the end goal is to get the companion cube out, right? Yeah, either- because either cube can go down here, it doesn't matter which, but the important thing is that we need the companion cube out here, so that's what we're gonna be working towards, I guess. 
so now my question is, what is this area for? Because this is- this is quite frightening. Hmm... What the heck is this for? There's not a way to turn off the funnel. That's three blocks. That's three blocks, so we could get up there with it. I don't know why we'd want to, but it, we certainly can. That is a thing that we can do. But this never turns off, right? Yeah. Oh, I know what I should have done. I know exactly what needs to happen here. That is clever. If it's intended. So, uh, we need to do... We need to do this all nonsense again. Here we go. Come on, there we go. Get me up here, please. Alright, then we do this. To respawn the regular cube into there again. There we go. Alright, so, first things first. We want the regular cube on the bottom. And we want the companion cube on top. Basically, what's gonna happen is we're gonna fizzle the regular cube, which means the button will be unpressed, but the ghost of this cube will keep the companion cube from touching the button for a few s for like a couple seconds, and then. This cube will fall onto the button, and respawn itself, and we will have the funnel in place to catch it when it respawns. Brilliant. I really like that. Right, so now we gotta figure out how to make that actually happen, which, uh... Hmm. Hadn't fully considered how we're gonna actually get the funnel there. But, you know, we have... We have that turned off, so that's something, right? Uh, well, thanks for that, Microsoft Windows 10 Fall Creators update. Yes, I think we wanted to look at the floor. The floor is very nice looking. Not really. <laughs> so let's, let's go up here, because I'm assuming this is what we want to do. Yes, and then we can press this button. Let's go ahead and... save. That should be enough time to do what we need to do. There we go. So we're up here now. Yes, yes. This all makes sense now. Excellent. This all makes sense. Uh, I guess that'll work. Let's save, and continue. Yeah! Perfect! So there's this. And there's this. Excellent, we have two cubes now. So I think we're done, right? Should be- should be done. Let's go clear our portals real quick. There we go. Solves that problem. And let's do this, put that there, run over here, make sure this is oriented in some form or fashion. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, actually no, you don't need to go there just yet. I actually want you to be tilted. Cause that's a greeted surface, so uh, yeah, no cubes going through that anytime soon. There we go, perfect. Very nice map paper, I like that a lot. Right, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!